Pope's prayer intention for February is attention to human trafficking, praying for all those victims of modern slavery. Here's a question. Which is better, to have a paper cup that you use once and throw away, or a metal cup that you use again and again? Well, the decision is clear. Something reusable is better for the environment and actually cheaper in the long run. What about people? Is it better to use a person once and throw them away or use them again and again? Obviously, this is a horrible example, right? We're all troubled and appalled that somebody would even ask that question. But it happens every day. And there's a name for this crime. It's called human trafficking. Abraham Lincoln abolished American slavery in 1863. But people are still bought and sold in the world today, even in our own country even in our own cities. Prostitution and pornography are among the chief culprits of this terrible crime. Another way it happens is through forced labor, perhaps through an unlicensed landscaping business that operates on a cash-only principle. People are treated as objects. Often enough, they're threatened, maybe blackmailed. At times, cash, alcohol, and drugs are part of the deal and it can be hard to escape. Pope Francis uses the term throwaway culture to describe the dark side of our modern times. Beneath a surface of wealth and pleasure, often enough people are just treated as objects, tossed aside after their usefulness is done. The Pope writes, today everything comes under the laws of competition. It's all about survival of the fittest, there, the powerful feed on the powerless, and people are themselves considered as human goods, rather consumer goods, to be used and thrown away. In fact, we've created a throwaway culture, which is in fact spreading. This is from his writings in Evangelii Gaudium, The Joy of the Gospel. In contrast to a throwaway culture, we see the example of Jesus. We watch him reaching out to children, embracing them, kissing them. Jesus who reaches out to the woman caught in adultery. Think about that term. She's caught, trapped. Jesus sets her free, protects her from further punishment and destruction. In Jesus, we see that we are not objects. We are beloved sons and daughters of the Father who made us. Together, we can pray and work to end human trafficking. Learn more about this on the U.S. Catholic Bishop's website, Anti-Trafficking Program.